heaven and not a door, even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come this evening and celebrate our victory. Lord God, we know that by your grace, we are victorious. We ask that this victory that you have given to us will be evident for all to see in our lives. The time has come for you to speak to us. We prepare our hearts to receive from you. Speak from your throne of grace. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 So the title of the message this evening is Victory in Difficult Times. Victory in difficult times. There is no doubt that today we are living in a world filled with challenges and uncertainties. Every one of us experiences personal challenges. Personal challenges either in our relationship, personal challenges either in terms of finances, Personal challenges in our workplaces, personal challenges in our health, or personal challenges in our families. We know that there are national challenges for nations is easier than others, and there are global crises. The two most topical ones are the wars in Ukraine and in Gaza. In Nigeria, our difficulties are many. The, one of them was triggered by the petrol price. Today, we experience problems with electricity. We have problems with inflation. You go to the market in the morning. When you go in the evening, the price has uh, changed. There is high increase in the price of food. So there is hunger in the land. There is transportation problems. Many people do not come to church, not because they don't want to come. They cannot afford the transportation. There is unemployment. But what we need to know is that difficulty is part of life. And as Christians... God has not called us to live in fear or despair. That is the exhortation this evening. No matter the circumstances you face, do not live in fear and do not live in despair. Because we are called to walk in victory, even in the midst of difficult times. So, how do we live in difficult times. How do we live in difficult times? Number one thing we need to live of how to live in difficult times is to trust God. To trust God. Because God has promised to help us in times of trouble or difficulty. So we need to trust him. Psalm 46 verse 1 to 3 says, God is our refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble. Anytime we have trouble, God is available to help us. And in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, the Bible tells us clearly that all things work together for good for them that love God, to them who are called according to his promise. God is no man that they will promise a thing and not be able to do it. He has promised he will provide. No matter the financial difficulties, we will not die of hunger. The, man, the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 3, 31 to 33. 
Therefore, take not saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or where we die shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you need these things. So, we should not join the gang of grumblers. Because God knows about the difficulties we are passing through. And God knows that we need all of these things. But what do we need to do? In verse 33, he says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That will be our portion in Jesus' name. Secondly, is to find strength in God's word. The promise in the word of God give us strength. The Bible tells us in Joshua 1, 9, Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Wherever we go, God is with us. All difficulties that we are passing through, God is with us. So we should find strength in God's word to be able to bear and go through the challenges that we are going through. Thirdly, we need to overcome every difficulty through faith and prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, there is no difficulty in this world that cannot be crumbled by faith and prayer. So the Bible is very clear. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That is why the Bible cancels us in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 on what we need to do when we face challenges, when we face difficulties. He says we should be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God which passeth all human understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, finally, victory is assured. And that is why we are here this evening to celebrate our victory. You have victory even before the difficulty comes. In Romans chapter 8, verse 37, the Bible says, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So, we know that there is difficulties. We know that difficulty will sustain for some time, but we are sure. We have the assurance from God Almighty that we have victory. And that is why 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57 says, But thanks be to God, which given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. My prayer is that we will live in this victory in Jesus' name. So I want to ask you this evening. Are you facing difficulty? Do you trust God? Can you find solace in the word of God? Are you praying? Even if you are praying, do you know that you are already victorious? We are in a period of difficulty. But if we trust God, if we follow God's words and pray, victory is assured. And my prayer today is that the victory that God has given to you will be evident in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we glorify your holy name. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace and mercy upon our life. We thank you, Lord, because we know that you have already given us victory. As we live our lives, we ask, Lord, that that victory will be evident for all to see in Jesus' name. We will not live victorious life and appear as somebody who has been defeated. Our victory will be obvious. Our victory will be evident. Wherever we go, we will have victory. We will have victory in our health. 
We will have victory in our place of work. We will have victory in our families. We will have victory in our finances. We will have victory in our marriages. We will have victory in our husbands. We will have victory in our wives. We will have victory in our children. Victory will pursue us everywhere. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together?